my dear students and viewers i am puranja vishas professor and chairman department of english dhaka college affiliated with the university of dhaka i welcome you to my today's lecture on the road not taken written by robert frost today i want to discuss the poem its background its theme its summary my dear students there is a historical background of writing this poem we know that robert frost lived in england from uh, 1912 to 1915 that is he stayed there for 3 years and during this period he wrote most of his outstanding poems and the uh, road not taken is one of them he wrote this poem in 1915 and it was first published in 1916 in the volume of poems entitled entitled mountain interval my dear students the road not taken is one of robert frost's and the world's most popular poems it is also called one of the most up quoted up recited and oft misunderstood poems in literature though the language of the poem is very simple colloquial it is very much difficult to interpret and to understand there is much ambiguity in this poem because it can be interpreted from different perspectives once lawrence thompson the biographer of robert frost commented that you have to be careful of that one poem that is the road not taken it is a tricky poem very tricky perhaps intending to suggest the poems ironic possibilities from this comment of lawrence thompson we come to know that this poem is not as easy as it seems to be or rather it is a tricky poem and we are often puzzled bewildered because of the ambiguity in the meaning of the poem however robert frost wrote this poem and he represents the speaker in his poem on his friend poet edward thomas edward thomas was an english poet and writer and he was very much close to robert frost while robert frost was living in england Robert Frost came back from England to America and began to live in New Hampshire. When he wrote the poem "The Road Not Taken," he sent an advance copy of this poem to his friend Edward Thomas in England. 
Thomas read the poem and he was very much inspired and encouraged regarding the theme and the message of the poem. From his from the message of this poem, Thomas was encouraged to enlist his name in the first world war. That is, he took an uncommon path of life and joined in the first world war. He was killed in the war after two years. So many of the critics as well as the poet himself commented that the narrator or the speaker of the poem is based on Edward Thomas. But there is another interpretation of this poem. Some critics find autobiographical elements in this poem. And the speaker represents Robert Frost himself to some extent. Now in which respect we can find autobiographical elements in the poem? As you know, Robert Frost studied medicine, but he never practiced. He gave up the profession of a doctor, a physician, and he took the profession of a poet. So, Robert Frost was in conflict regarding the choice of his career, which path, which road he should take, either the profession of a physician or that of a poet. The path of a poet is somewhat uncommon, real. Robert Frost accepts the second option, that is, the career of a poet, giving up the first option. Thus, in the life of Robert Frost, we find a conflict, an indecision about taking decision about career. Thus, we can find some personal or autobiographical element in the form. Robert Frost once commented that I want to quote here regarding the background of his poem, focusing on Edward Thomas. He thus commented, Thomas was a person who, whichever road he went, would be sorry he did not go the other. He was hard on himself that way. By this, the poet wants to mean, wants to mean that Thomas took the Paths of a patriot of a soldier who took part in the First World War and sacrificed his life. So this is the uncommon or rare road that Thomas accepted. So on the one hand we can interpret Edward Thomas as the speaker or the narrator. On the other hand, 
we can also represent the poet himself as the narrator or the speaker of the poem. But there is a universal appeal in this poem. What is that? In fact, the speaker represents neither Edward Thomas nor Robert Frost himself, but every man. Every man is just like the traveler, the speaker in the poem, the road not track. How is every man regarded as the speaker or the traveler in the poem, the road not taken? We can interpret this poem metaphorically. The whole poem is a metaphor. Considering the road of life. Suppose the yellow wood that is depicted in the poem represents our mysterious circumstances of life. And the road symbolizes the course of life of human being. That is, the road symbolizes the path of human life. So every man is that traveler and the road symbolizes the path of life and the yellow forest symbolizes the mystery of the circumstances of human life. And there is the fork on the road. And this fork on the road from where the two roads are diverged to two directions. So this fork symbolizes doubts and confusion about selecting the right option of human life. The fundamental theme of this poem is the universal indecision and procrastination that a man suffers from like Hamlet. You can remember Hamlet. Hamlet suffers from indecision, procrastination, and he delays to choose the right path of life, to choose the right path of action. In the same way, the traveler in the poem, The Road Not Taken, stands at the fork from where two roads go to the two different directions. And the traveler is confused at first, thinking which road should be taken. As he is one traveler, and as there are two different roads, it is impossible for a traveler, for one traveler to walk along the two roads at the same time. Neither it is possible for a traveler to mingle the two roads into one. Then what to do? The decision is to take only one road out of two options. 
and which which road should be taken and which road should be left at first the traveler looks along the first road and he looks and looks as far as he can see and he finds that the road cuts and no more the poet the traveler can see the road and it goes through the undergrowth for which no more the poet or the traveler or the speaker can see the road then he looks at the other road the different road the second road and he sees that this very road is grassy and less traveled it seems to the speaker uncommon different the first road is must trodden but the second one is less traveled less trodden and it is grass explaining the two characteristics of two roads the poet or the speaker decides to take the second option the second road because it was uncommon rare the poet thinks that it would be better for him to select the rare one because uncommon path makes one uncommon the traveler wants to become uncommon or rare so finally he decides the second road to be what though the poet says that when he would pass along this less trodden road one day it would be as trodden as must travel as the first one that the poet now lives so the poet thinks of one day there might be no difference between the two roads all the two would be same or might be the same one day whatever just now just today the poet discovers difference between the two roads and finally he accepts the second option but there is still <coughs> sorry there is still some sign in the poet's mind he regrets that he now fails to walk along the first road though he had a curiosity and eagerness to experience the first road he can't but he desires if it were possible for him to come back to this fork he would walk along the road not taken in the last stanza the poet imagines that as is and as is hence 
he would think over his decision of taking one road and giving the other road my students the poem the road not taken is highly symbolic and philosophical apparently the poem seems to be very simple ordinary regarding a traveler's traveling but in reality there is a deeper meaning underlying meaning about human life in our life there are many options as you find in the life of the poet himself he had to take decisions he had to make choice out of many options in his practical life we know that robert frost spent his early life through hardship he had to work in mill he had to work in newspaper report office he left that job came to new england settled down in new hampshire with his mother he took some farms and he became a farmer then he left farming left america and went to england then again he came back from england to america he bought again some farms sometimes he left farming and took the profession of a school teacher thus robert frost himself in his own life suffered from indecision about making right choice out of so many options so the problem of making choices is a recurrent theme in robert frost poetry as well as in in his own life but if we want to generalize this poem we can say that the poem is about human beings there is a symbolic interpretation of this poem that i have already mentioned every man is a traveler there is the long course of life sometimes there are so many ways not only two ways so many ways in front of us we are often confused which path which option which career we should accept of course there is some implication in the poem road not taken there is a message that one should take the less traveled path that is the rare path or uncommon path because uncommon paths can take one to uncommon goal of life that can make him different uncommon among the common my dear students today i have given an overall description about the
theme of the poem, the background of the poem, the symbolic significance of the poem. And in the next class, I want to read out the poem and thereby I want to discuss the summary of the poem. My dear students, that's all. See you next. All the best.